Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is、uh, um, September seventh, twenty twenty-three, and、uh, I had a couple like a story to share. Maybe share also some dream. It's、uh, not about the rapture, but、uh, it does、um, uh, connect with.、Uh, The waiting for God's return. So, um, so we are um invited to、uh, visit a church a couple of days ago, and、uh, that it is a beautiful and a large church. And、um, so when we get there, it kind of a very uh quiet. And、uh, clean, but restrict. So,、uh, when we enter the room, and、uh, I saw the several pastors, they are just sitting、um, on the front, so on the top, so like even face to face to the audience, and.、Um, Okay, so after the meeting, there's one pastor. He came to me and、uh, like、uh, talked to me. Then we just like uh, talked uh, something like uh, discussed uh, something about、uh, how to be、uh, like、uh, to be holy or overcomer, and、uh, how to、um, dwell in God all the time. So. Like when I ask some like specific question, like how we can connect with God all the time, he just like said, "Oh, it's too hard.、Uh, there's almost nobody can do that today." And also, he just like、uh, mentioned something else. When I ask how to walk this way, he seems has no idea. He just kept talking, kept speaking. How many churches they built, and he is like a、um, five, five generation <laughs> Christian, and、uh, how he is beloved, and how many、uh, like miracles God did for him, um, and、uh, how like expensive this new church like that. So um, it's kind of. You know, just miss the point. And、uh, at the end, he's、uh, like trying to、um, persuade you or like teach you you should serve God. You should do something to serve God, like so on. So, okay. So that's remind me. I had a dream、um, before I go to this church. And、uh, in my dream, I heard my husband、um, said, "This family, this family, like his family." He didn't say my family. He he said his family will perish. So that kind of shock, right? So and、uh, this church and this pastor, he I think he he believes the pre-tribulation rapture. He think all Christians, all believers, will be raptured before the seven-year tribulation. So he seems、um, quite confident about that. He doesn't worry about if. He will be left behind, and when I talk about today, the church is like、uh, um, is falling quickly. He he said, "Oh, they are they they are like that way." So he me- he means he and his church doesn't like that way. But but、uh, you know, when you think you are not like others. You're like doing good, D- 
doing better than others, you are falling, you know. So, um, yeah. Okay, so, um, so that is a good question for everyone. You can ask yourself, what person you are? Are you a person just like know Jesus coming back soon and uh, speak about that, talk about that, spread the message about that? Or you are a real person who are preparing for that. You, you are a real person who are waiting for his return. So what kind of person you are? Just ask yourself, be honest, ask your heart. So let, let God's light to, you know, just show you the true answer. answer. So, um, yeah. So when I, <laughs> when I uh, see those great church, I mean, that's just remind me the Haggai, um, the chapter one, verse four, like, um, like, is it time for you, oh yeah, to dwell in your sealed house and in this house lie waste? So like, we live in like a beautiful house, but uh, the church, the true church um, is still like a waste, still like a abandoned or you know so um yeah and also I sh i'm going to share another dream about uh, like a skating place so in my dream the skating place is usually symbolize the um, glassy sea so when a person is true truly saved he will never like a fall in, like fall, never drown in the water again. So, and uh, the skating, skating place, the glassy sea. So, it symbolizes um, a person's salvation. So, um, there's two kind of glassy sea in the Bible. One is like crystal clear, and another one like it's kind of has fire in it. So that um, actually that's has symbolized two kind of person. Like first, first the class is when they are living the world, and then just follow God all the time to give their hearts completely to God all the time. And uh, connect to God all the time, and uh, and uh, they are. I mean, their hearts. I mean, Jesus Christ's heart is their heart. So, they are like a completely honest, and uh, they are crystal clear. So they are be honest to God, be honest to, to themselves. So like it, that previous pastor, he kind of lied to himself. He deceived himself. He kind like truly faced those problems, those, those questions. He tried to escape them, but uh, you know, you cannot escape God at all. So the second class is uh, the person who had to uh, be purified by the fire of God, um, I think it because their hearts are not completely submit to God, they're not completely be like uh, be holy during their life, so they had to go through some fire, maybe some h hard situation, so they can be broken, and uh, so they can be bent, so they can like uh, let the self crucified on the cross so there's two kind of sins so um so just what kind of sense you want yeah want to be okay so 
let's talk about how to prepare to meet God. And this is the lesson I am experienced. I mean, right now. Like God gave me a, like an instant noodle dream a couple of days ago. And uh, in that dream, my daughter, she's doing the instant noodle, preparing the noodle. And uh, I'm hungry, so I want to eat something, eat some of them. But uh, then she put the noodle like in a, uh, like a red brick pit. It's supposed to be like a, some like a sewer, something like that. So it's not supposed to be not clean. Even though at that time it looks like clean, but it still it's not a clean place. So I pray to God and ask, what does this dream mean? He told me, like the instant noodle, convenient noodle is kind of symbolize some good thing because it's uh, tastes good, but it has no nutrition, and it's convenient, and. Uh, so that means, especially in my dream, the noodle symbolizes uh, the law. So, so something law is looks, I mean, it's good, but uh, but it's not life. So, so God showed me, like uh, when you listen to some good information, um, or eat something, like uh, your spirit hungry, your you, you try to find something to eat, so you try to find it on YouTube, YouTuber to listen, like a you know pastor or information to listen, and then when you listen to those messages, like it's very convenient to you and it's quick to you, but uh, you didn't put all information in front of God, like your heart isn't or wasn't in front of God. That situation is like a liking eating uh, the instant noodle so everything we have to like uh, connect with God we have to like uh, live in God if without God even though those information are good but uh, still they are like uh, nothing good to our spirit nothing good to the inner life so it's, I mean, you can be, I mean, like, uh, you don't feel hungry, but actually, it's no good to your body. So that, so that's how we need to prepare to uh, s meet God, to, in our daily life, every situation, like, uh, when we're talking, when, when we're thinking, when we're watching, when we listen, all the things, all the times, we are just practicing to connect to God, to watch God, use our inner eyes, listen to God with our inner spiritual right ear and right eyes. So watching Him all the time, just focus on Him. Like, so your spirit, like missing God, loving God, so just do that. Keep doing in every little detail things, small things. So that will help us to to walk this way. So and uh, also I I I try to like share something. I watched some YouTubers video about like a uh, left behind dreams. And uh, usually, I noticed they were way used to ignore that warning message. Like, we will think that dream is God. Like, let me experience who will be left behind. But actually not. When God gave a dream to us, like specific to you, that means there's useful information to yourself. Don't think this is just other person's experience. Just think about yourself. Speak to yourself. Like when you read Bible, those like 
hard verses, just don't think it, it's talk to someone else, but to talk to yourself. So when you humble, when you and just you know asking God, He will show you. He will give you light to understand what problem you have. When you know that, ask God, and His precious blood will cover you and clean you. You know, just that hindering between you and God will be removed. So that warning will that that warning then will disappear. Otherwise, if you just listen, but you don't listen and obey, you know, you will lose a lot. So, you know, God is God is the best teacher. He knows everything about us. When His finger pointed the problem we have, we also need to pay attention to that. If it gave us a warning message, then we need to repent. That's what we need to do. We can't just say, "Okay, this is not for me. It's for others." Like the prophet, you cannot say, "Oh, this is I prophet other people's destiny, other people's fate." Maybe sometimes, but it, but it, but it, God talk to you. How about think about that? Those words are for you. So just, yeah, just go to God and ask. You're willing to submit to. You are willing to bend yourself. You're willing to carry on your own cross. Stand in the situation, and stand in the place. We deny yourself. You know, we we only deserve put on the cross. We only deserve the death. Our old self. So that's the right position, or you know, s- situation. You need to stand. When we had su- has such knowledge, we know that. So we can truly be truly be honest to ourselves. So we can. You know, stand on the glass of glassy sea. Yeah. So that's I want to share today. I know we are we are closing to his return. Um. So that's very urgent to prepare ourselves. You know. Like、uh, in the skating place dreams, I ask、uh, those couple to, to like、uh, do not, like just, um, do not use this place as a、uh, skating, but just uh, like uh, um recover them to the normal um bedroom, and、uh, you can rent those rooms to others, and、uh, charge them like eight hundred dollars, so like that. So eight means uh, uh, resurrection. So God told me this is very important. The current church, the most church, the problem is they put the wrong sequence. They put first of the salvation of people, but actually God told me the first should be. The God's original will that means glorify His only Son, Jesus Christ, the Christ, the Christ. So when the people, um, saying, so like a, like God, to save people, to go back to God's original will. So this is the second. So today's church is put. People, people, or human on the first, but not put God on the first, and doesn't know what's a God's original will. So all we do is like、uh, to focus on the skating, the glassy sea, this, 
the people's salvation, but we don't pay attention to God's glory first. The first is thing is to satisfy God. So deny yourself, then you can have the resurrection. Yeah, so hope I explain the things clear. <laughs> if not, uh, I po apology. Um, but uh, you can uh, read uh, some Watchman Nee's book, so he may explain uh, <laughs> this more clear than I. And then, yeah, so may God bless you. Yep, bye-bye.